In this video, I'm going to show you some awesome products for your saltwater aquarium that's going to make your life so much easier and it's going to make your maintenance far, far quicker. Hi, I'm Richard from the Beginner's Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with great information, awesome tips and really helpful resources to help you succeed. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and anything that I mention in this video, you can find in the video notes below. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I've got a great beginner's tip for you that's gonna help your aquarium stay nice and healthy. So let's have a look at this list. So the first product on the list has been an absolute lifesaver. When I first found this maybe 15 years ago, I couldn't believe how well it worked. And this is an algae magnet or an algae scraper. And basically it is just two magnets with cleaning pad on one side and a felt pad on the other. One goes on the inside of the aquarium, one goes on the outside. You rub it across the front of your tank and you can literally clean your glass in two minutes. You can do the entire tank in two minutes. If you've got a 300 gallon aquarium, it might take you a little bit longer, but for a small aquarium, you can do it every day. I do mine literally every day and it takes me two minutes. Now, the other good thing with these is that you can get, for some of them, you can get them with a blade attachment. And if you, let's say you've been on vacation and you come back and your tank is just fully green, you can put the razor blade on there and you can run it down the front of the tank and it just shaves the algae off in a complete sheet and your tanks go nuts for it. So. Algae magnets, really, really helpful, really handy. They come in a range of sizes. They come in a range of prices, anywhere from like five to, coming up to about 150 bucks for the big ones. And they're really, really helpful. There's just a couple of things you need to be aware of with them. Be careful if you're putting them close together because the magnets on them are really strong and they can pull your hands together and they will trap your skin. And trust me, I've done it so many times and it makes you cry. It can really pinch. So be really careful with that. When you're putting them into your tank, just be careful because when they clamp together, they can squirt water out. And I've had one squirt out onto a T5 bulb and it blew the bulb. Um, so that was, that was a nasty experience. So just be careful doing that. And the other thing to be really careful of is always make sure you check the inside pads to make sure there's no grains of sand. Because if you get one grain of sand in there and you run the algae magnet across the aquarium, it can put a scratch straight through your glass. So just be really careful with that. But an algae magnet is gonna save you so much time. It's gonna keep your tank looking pristine. You can clean it in a minute every single day. They're gonna really, really help you. Okay, the next gadget that's gonna really save you some serious time is an ATO or an automatic top-off system. These things are really, really helpful to have. And basically what it does is, as your aquarium water evaporates, it leaves behind the salt, because salt doesn't evaporate, only the water evaporates. So over time, as your water level in your aquarium drops, the amount of salt that stays in there is, remains the same, but the amount of water that's in there is less. So your water in effect will become more salty. So to keep your salinity exactly where it is, you need to top off with fresh water to combat the evaporation. And you're gonna be doing this every single day. And my 75 gallon reef evaporates about a gallon a day. And you go away on vacation, go away for a week, that's seven gallons. You know, it's gonna be a lot of water and the salinity is going to change. So an automatic top off system is basically a small device that sits and monitors the water level in your tank. When that water level drops, it senses it using sensors and it activates a small pump and it pumps fresh water into the aquarium. The water level rises back to its normal level. This automatic top off system sees this, shuts off the pump and basically sits and waits for the next time for it to activate. Super simple, really, really good. They're just a set and forget system. Now you can get them in price ranges starting from about 100 bucks going up to two, 250 bucks. And they're really helpful. Some of them are really small, made specifically for nano aquariums. And they have tiny little optical sensors that are just magnetic that stick on the side of your tank. 
and they're really good, really, really good. Um, some come with a pump, some don't. It's just the, the flexibility that they provide you. So look at all the different systems, find one that is gonna be perfect for your aquarium. And then if you've got a pump that needs to pump a long distance, um, then you probably wanna get uh, an ATO system that doesn't come with a pump so that then you can just put in a more powerful pump, say like a mag drive pump, and you can pump it say from a, a storage vessel in your garage. The things that you have to be cautious of with automatic top-off systems is don't cheap out on them. There are some cheaper ones you can find on Amazon. Just stay away from them because if an automatic top-off system goes wrong, it's going to basically kill your tank. It's either going to push too much fresh water into your aquarium or it's just going to fail and not put any into them. So just do your due diligence and look at the reviews. There's some really great ones out there from um, Tunzi, from JBGA, you name it, go and look on marinedepot.com, there's a link below, then you can go and see all the, the really good, well-tested pedigree ATO systems that are available. The other thing you've got to remember is it feeds water into your aquarium from a reservoir container. Now that reservoir container can be a small five gallon salt bucket or it can be a 20 gallon brute storage trash can. The only thing you have to do is make sure that thing remains top top. So the bigger the vessel, the more time you have between top ups to keep that vessel fill. So just keep it fill and the automatic top off system is gonna do the work for you. Next gadget on the list is a Wi-Fi camera and this one is really good for giving you peace of mind when you're away on vacation. And basically you can get them, they're on Amazon, you can find a link below. Uh, this has got some really, really good cameras. I've got two on my aquarium. I've got one that looks permanently down the end of my aquarium. And I've got one set up in my, basically my fish room, which is my filtration area underneath my aquarium in the basement. Um, so when I go away on vacation, I can just load up the app on my phone whilst I'm sitting on the beach and I can basically look at it and I can see one screen with my aquarium and one screen with my sump and I know that they are running as they should be and it gives you such good peace of mind. They're really, really cheap. You can get them from about 35 bucks and they are really, really helpful. Super easy to set up. You can now link them with things like Alexa, Google Home, you get the Nest ones that can set up with other automation systems in your home and they can provide you with notifications on your phone. There's so many functions that they can have and one of the best ones that I like is that, that most of them all come with night vision. So even when your aquarium is um, in the middle of the night, if you're on the other side of the world, you can log in and just check just to make sure you look at your sump and you can just make sure that the ATO is working properly or your skimmer's not overflowing, uh, things like that. They just give you really, really good peace of mind and for 35 bucks, they're a no brainer. The two things that you have to be careful of with them, when you get them, make sure you put in a very um, unique username and password. Do not leave the, the usernames and passwords from the factory in there otherwise you're likely to get them hacked and somebody could then take control of your camera because of that i like to get cameras that are not controllable you can get some that can move pan tilt and zoom i like to get fixed ones so they can't be moved if you get a camera don't go and mount it over the other side of your room looking across the room to the aquarium because then you have privacy issues if somebody does hack into your camera they can watch everything that's going off in your living room. So what I've done is I've mounted mine right on the end of my aquarium and it's looking straight down as you can see in this picture here. Um, so even if somebody does hack into the camera, they're gonna see my tank, big wow. So yeah, a couple of precautions, but they'll, uh, the Wi-Fi cameras are a really, really good investment for 35 bucks. The next gadget I've got on the list is the Flood Guardian, or it's also nicknamed the Marriage Saver for good reason too. And basically this is an awesome device for those of you that have to make up your RODI water somewhere in the house, like in your kitchen or in your bathroom, 
and you've not been able to or you're not able to mount your RODI unit permanently. And what this thing does is, is it's going to connect with your RODI unit and it's got a little magnetic sensor that you stick either side of the container that you're filling up and it basically monitors the water level. As the water level comes up to the sensor, it sees it and shuts off the water supply and basically it prevents overfilling because if you've not been around in this hobby much yet, you will see with time somebody comes on the forums and like, I've just flooded my house again and because they've started to fill their RODI unit uh, container and they've forgot, they've gone to bed, they've gone out and they walk in and there's water on the floor. And, or worse, they've had a phone call from the apartment manager because the person who lives downstairs has now got water coming out of their ceiling. So it happens all the time and this marriage saver or the flood guardian it's 70 bucks and it works awesome. It's probably one of the best little gadgets I've seen come into our hobby in a long, long time. And it is perfect. So if you're one of these people that have to make water somewhere, 70 bucks, it's a no brainer. Just get one, connect it to your RODI unit, stick the sensor onto the tub, turn it on, set, forget. 70 bucks, it's great. So that's just a few of the best gadgets that are available for us in our hobby to make life easier and quicker. Um, I've got a blog post you can find in the link below on the Beginner's Reef website that's got even more great gadgets on there. If I was to go through them all today, we'd be here all day long. So go check that link out at some point. There's so many other great videos, so just stay watching here, but just go bookmark that link that you can find in the description below and uh, you can see some really, really cool gadgets that are going to really help you out. This week's tip is to basically help with your fish's immune system and there's a product that I've used for years and years and years and it's called Kent Garlic Extreme and it's basically concentrated garlic in a small bottle with a syringe and each time you go to feed your fish what I do is I get a shot glass, I just scoop out some of my water I put in some pellets, I put in some flake food, some frozen food, whatever I'm feeding that night, and then just put one or two drops in there, let the food soak in this garlic for about 15 minutes, and then once you pour it into the tank, it's then gonna be ingested by the fish. And it just really helps their immune system. And touch wood to this day, I've never had a fish illness. Whether it's this garlic, who knows, but I've been using it for years. It's a really popular product. So many other people use it and they're the same. They've never had problems with their fish's immune system and it works really good, but just be careful. It's really strong. Don't go and sniff it because it will knock your head off. It is horrid. So just one or two drops into a shot glass, let it sit there for 15 minutes and then feed your fish and it's gonna help keep their immune systems at their peak. So that was just a few good gadgets and a tip for this video. I hope you find it helpful and if you did make sure you check out our other videos here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We've got new videos coming out every week and I will see you next time.